The Russian Navy is exploring a carrier-based variant of the Su-57 fifth-generation fighter. Retired Vice Admiral Vladimir Pepeliev, former Deputy Chief of the Main Staff of the Russian Navy, after his retirement, was responsible for developing the aircraft carrier project at the Krylov State Research Center. The carrier could have a displacement of 70,000 to 90,000 tons. He spoke to the media following the Fleet 2024 International Naval Salon. Speaking to Arya Novosti, he said, Today, we have the Su-33 and MiG-29K and KUB, and the carrier must be capable of launching and receiving these aircraft. Looking ahead, our aircraft carrier should be able to operate the Su-57, and this option is under consideration. Speaking to TASS, the Admiral said, In the future, the Su-57 is being considered as a carrier-based aircraft. A deck version of the fighter could emerge with stable funding. The prospective aircraft carrier will require new, more advanced catapult and arrestor systems for full operational capability. This potential development emerges from the convergence of advanced aerospace technology and Russia's evolving maritime defense strategy. The Su-57, already renowned for its sophisticated design and exceptional maneuverability, presents a compelling candidate for naval transformation. At the heart of the Su-57's potential naval capabilities lies its revolutionary Alevcon, leading-edge vortex controller technology. This innovative system fundamentally reimagines aerodynamic control, offering unprecedented performance characteristics critical for carrier operations. The Levcon technology enables extraordinary low-speed control and prevents stalling, attributes that are absolutely essential when operating from the constrained environment of an aircraft carrier deck. The three-wing design of the Su-57, comprising primary wings, horizontal stabilizers, and Levcon surfaces, provides exceptional lift and stability. This configuration becomes particularly advantageous in the challenging maritime environment where wind conditions, deck movement, and limited takeoff space demand extraordinary aerial performance. The system's ability to optimize exhaust characteristics and enhance nose lift during takeoff directly addresses the unique challenges of carrier-based aviation. Transforming the Su-57 into a carrier-capable platform requires extensive structural modifications. The most critical adaptation involves developing a robust tailhook system capable of effectively arresting the fighter during high-speed landings. Engineers are contemplating two primary approaches, either replacing the rear bomb bay with a dedicated tailhook compartment or extending the tail section following design principles established in other Russian fighter models like the Su-34. Structural reinforcement represents another crucial engineering challenge. The landing gear and fuselage must be substantially strengthened to withstand the extreme stresses of carrier takeoffs and landings. These modifications will likely involve advanced materials and innovative design techniques to maintain the aircraft's weight and performance characteristics, while ensuring durability under maritime operational conditions. When compared to contemporary carrier-based fighters like the American F-35C and Chinese J-20, the potential Su-57K presents intriguing technological trade-offs. While it might offer superior payload capacity compared to the F-35C and potentially more robust low-altitude performance than the J-20, challenges remain in achieving comparable stealth capabilities. The Su-57's design philosophy prioritizes kinematic performance and versatility, which could translate into unique advantages in naval contexts. Russia's broader naval aviation strategy closely links the realization of a carrier-based Su-57. Significant financial investments and a clear commitment to developing modern aircraft carriers will be prerequisites for this ambitious project. Current constraints, including budgetary limitations and the aging infrastructure of existing Russian naval assets, pose substantial challenges to rapid implementation. Should the Su-57K successfully transition from conceptual design to operational reality, it could fundamentally reshape Russia's naval aviation capabilities. The fighter represents more than a mere platform upgrade. It symbolizes a strategic reimagining of maritime air power. Its advanced sensor fusion, supersonic capabilities, and potential for advanced weapons integration could provide Russian naval forces with unprecedented operational flexibility. 
The potential carrier-based Su-57 embodies the complex intersection of technological innovation, strategic vision, and military engineering. While significant challenges remain, the prospect of this fifth-generation fighter operating from maritime platforms represents an exciting frontier in Russian aerospace development. The ultimate success of the Su-57K will depend not just on technological prowess, but on sustained political and financial commitment to expanding Russia's naval aviation capabilities. As military technologies continue to evolve, the Su-57's naval adaptation stands as a testament to the ongoing transformation of modern aerial warfare, where adaptability, performance, and strategic vision converge to redefine operational possibilities. Now, do you think the Su-57K will be better than the F-35C? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.